Greetings and welcome to a new video about another DC shunt motor example. This is our example number three. So let's move on. We have a DC shunt motor and it develops a power of 22 kilowatts. The fuel resistance R of F is 175 ohms. And this motor requires a terminal voltage of 350 volts and also a back EMF of 300. 35 volts okay these are the required calculations we need the armature resistance r sub a we need the field current i of f and we also need the terminal current i sub t okay let's look at our solutions and again we begin with the model of this dc shunt motor this is the model we already discussed also in the previous two examples again this is the field part this is the armature part also including the back emf part and this is the terminal voltage and this is the terminal current this is the ter the armature current and this is the field current so actually all of the necessary elements are in this model so how do we start let's start with the question a the armature resistance r a this is actually what we have here so and before we move on, the given information, again, in summary here in the list, the weld power, the terminal voltage, the back EMF, and also the field resistance. Okay, the armature resistance first. Now, for that, we can use, again, the voltage across these two terminals, because the RA is in it. We have then the terminal voltage is equal to the back EMF plus the voltage across this resistor, plus the voltage across this inductor. But again, we work in DC, that means this is the DC current, that means the reactance of this L of A in this armature part will be zero for DC. So we'll lose the third part of the right-hand side of this equation. That will result then in this form, we lose this, and then expressing RA in terms of the refs, of the parameters you will get this expression now what you need here is of course then the terminal voltage the back emf but also the armature current now these two we have from the given information but we don't know this yet so again we, not, we need another formula to calculate the armature resistance here now we can also use the given information about the power so the power developed power is the product of the back emf and the armature current we know this, we also know this, so we know the, the developed power, we also know the back EMF, so we can just calculate the armature resistance, I mean the current directly here by using the given information. That will be then 65.7 amperes. Now using these, this expression also the information here, we can then come to our armature resistance, which is then here as 228 milliohms. Okay, that's for question A. Now, that's the armature resistance. Moving on to the field current. The field current is the current flowing in this branch. And again, we can set up a voltage loop here. So we can actually say the terminal voltage will be then the voltage across this RF plus the voltage across this inductor. But again, the inductor will be, the reactance of this inductor will be zero since this is a DC current. So we only have this part that means the equation for the field current is very really simple terminal voltage over that our average is already given so we just substitute the given values we will have then two amperes that's for our field current okay now next one is the terminal current the terminal current here again using Kirchhoff current law is this will split in these two branches so this will be made up by these two currents that means the terminal current will be then the armature current plus the field current we know the armature current this here we know the field current here we just substitute the values in here and you will get 67.7 amperes that will be then our terminal current and now we have to calculate the necessary values in this exercise number three and again, if you have any questions about this exercise, please let me know and I will try to answer them as soon as possible. Thanks again and see you next time in another video. Take care.